In this episode of Secret Lives, we travel from Egypt to Morocco and the US to explore one of the biggest taboos in Arabic society, conversion to Christianity. We find out that many Christian converts have to live in hiding. And we discover an international propaganda war on satellite television channels and on the internet. Egypt has the largest and oldest Christian community in the Middle East. Egyptian Christians, or Copts, make up nearly 10% of the population. The country's constitution guarantees freedom of religion. Anyone born a Christian can practice their religion openly. But conversion from Islam is another matter. Omar Abdul Razek is a journalist working for the BBC's Arabic service. In a house on the outskirts of Cairo, Omar visits a young couple living in hiding. Michael was born a Christian, Mariam was born a Muslim. Two years ago, she converted to his faith and they got married. Her family have not been told. And they live now in a legal limbo. <laughs> Omar is on his way to meet one of the few Christian converts in Egypt to have gone public. Maher Gahari lives with his 15-year-old daughter, Dina. Maher performs this ritual every time he leaves his flat. If the molten plastic is disturbed, he knows someone has tried to break in while he was out. He claims that the authorities once tried to install cameras and bugs inside the flat. Maher and his daughter rarely leave their home. Maher hit the headlines in 2008 when he applied to the Egyptian courts to change his stated religion on his ID card from Muslim to Christian. He presented the court with a certificate of baptism from the Coptic Church. The court refused his request stating that it contradicted the order of society and its Muslim majority. Maher and his daughter believe their lives have been under threat ever since. Dina describes her daily routine. ونزل من العربية مسكني من هدومي رفعني من هدومي من على الأرض قال لازم كنت شاء ترجعي أنت وباباك يعني أنتوا بتعملوه هنقتلك وهنقتله. Maher is from a conservative Islamic background and was lined up for a job in state security, but he was changed forever when a roommate at the police academy gave him a copy of the Bible. قديت والدي قال لي تبتيها بتاعه بيوت له بعض ال 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 قال لي ايه ده اوعى تقرا كتاب امي ده فيها شيطان يجذبك و كتاب محور وبتاع ف خدت الكتاب ودخلت اوضتي وجيت بالليل فتحت الكتاب قفلت عليا الباب وفتحت الكتاب وقعدت اقرا فيه انا خلصت ربنا لازم في سنوات من هنا ولقيت لك انوار معايا ضوء ابيض انا عمري ما شفته Maher has kept newspaper cuttings in which radical muslim clerics have said he should repent or be killed ولا عندنا والبدري يطالب باستتابته والا يقتل هل اخذت المساله على محمل الجد أولا؟ ايوه طبعا محمل الجد حتى لو هو مح... حتى لو هو بيقولها على محمل الفاني لكن في ناس ت... في ناس في الشارع انا بخاف من ده البني ادم البسيط اللي ماشي في الشارع بياخدها بمحمل ايه انك انت انسان كافر وهو هيكسب فيك ثواب هو بيقتلك بيضربك باي حاجه لك وفي نفس الوقت عارف ان هو ما فيش عقاب الهي عليه لان هو Father and daughter 
want to leave Egypt, but the court has banned Maher from traveling. In the past, the Coptic Church has avoided making conversion a public issue by baptizing people in secret. Omar makes his way to Azbat al-Nakhl, one of Cairo's poorest neighborhoods, to meet Father Matthias Nasser. Father Matthias gave Maher a certificate of baptism into the Coptic Church. In doing so, his critics say that he broke an unspoken rule between the church and the government not to rock the boat. <laughs> إذا كنت أنت بتديني هذا الحق أنا ما استخدمهش ليه وعايز أقول لك مجرد ما الدولة تستجيب وتفاعل موادها الدستورية وتعطي لكل ذي حق حقه في أنه يحصل على أوراق تحمل هويته الجديدة حيطفو على السطح آلاف المتنصرين وأيضا عشرات المنصرين لا تخشى أبونا أن ذلك ممكن أن يقود إلى حرب تبشير بين دعاة التنصير ودعاة الأسلامة أنا لا أخشى لأن أريدي الحرب موجودة بقالها سنوات يعني إحنا في مصر عندنا معاهد للدعوة إيش معنى ما فيش معاهد للتنص... للكرازة بالمسيحية عندنا في مصر دلوقتي القنوات الفضائية اللي على النيل سات أنت بتقدر تسمع فيها تسمع فيها قنوات دينية إسلامية بتدعو إلى الإسلام وبتتكلم عن العقيدة الأخرى إنها وإنها وإنها وبتسمع العكس في قنوات فضائية أخرى لكن أنا بعتبره نوع من المنافسة أو نوع من الـ 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 السجال الفكري إنه كل واحد بيقدم بضعته Tensions between the two communities are never far from the surface. There have been sporadic clashes between Muslims and Copts since the 1970s, but one was especially significant. In 2004, Wafa Constantine, the wife of a Coptic priest, fell in love with a Muslim colleague. She left her husband and converted to Islam. The church declared that her lover had forced her into it. Thousands of angry Copts took to the streets. It was the first big public demonstration by Christians in Egypt. Suddenly, conversion had become a political issue. من اللقبات أظهر إنه اللقبات اعتبروا ندا نوع من إنهم إنهم بيصابوا في الرمز لأن زوج الكاهن دي نوع من الرمز يعني. فدي الحادثة الأولانية اللي شوية خلت يطفو على السطح يعني كنوع من الإيه كنوع من إنه طب إذا كان الأمر هكذا بقى فيعني لا بأس من إنه كل واحد حر بقى